hello and welcome to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed this would be a great time to subscribe and if you have thanks for sticking with me and thanks for coming back in today's video we are going to look at phg and postdoc positions available in ethiopia zurich all the way in switzerland so without wasting much time let's have a look so once you get to the portal, I'm going to leave this link in the description box. As you can see, I'm sure you're wondering what language this is. But don't worry. At the top right corner, you could change the language to English. And we are back to a language we understand. So these are open positions at ETH Zurich. Even if... if, if uh, if you are looking for professorship positions, you could also find it, but at the Office of the Faculty Affairs. But in today's video, we are just going to focus on PhD and postdoc positions. So, there are filters to help make things easier. So, you choose a job type, doctoral student, postdoc, scientific employees, and there are a lot of options. Even if you are a student looking for internships and assistantship, you could make good use of this website. And the locations, there are various locations, whether Zurich, Basel, and even all the way to Singapore. But um, that's not um, today. We are going to look at PhD and postdoc positions. So you could do the theaters. I'm going to look at doctoral students, and then you will see all the open positions that are available in ETA Zurich. So currently, you could have global history. So this is for both STEM and non-STEM. Just take time and look through everything to find something that works for you. But in today's video, I'm just going to pick one and we are going to have a look at it. So that's electronic design, automation and reconfigurable computing. I also saw one that was a bit of interest to me, but I think I moved too far, so I lost it. Yeah, so just, just look through and... Let me see if I can find it. Okay, let's focus on today's video, okay? So you just click on that link. Let's have a look at um, what they say. So this is what we have. This is the description, the work you are going to do. Take time and read it. And this is the student you are looking for. They need somebody with a degree in computer science or electrical engineering. So most of these three said are interdisciplinary. What that means is people from different fields can work in that area. So you have to actually make the time to click on all these links to read and see if there is something there for you because as you could see that one is electrical engineering and computer so like for this political science economic sociology or social psychology or interdisciplinary degree so you have to take your time and read through all of them so with this what are they looking for they need somebody with a strong background in computer engineering and digital hardware design advanced programming skills if you are in your undergrad or if you are down with school please and please try and learn a programming language these are very like the world we are moving and these skills are very important and they could be useful so ability and fluency in written and spoken english ability to work independently and willingness to acquire new skills so knowledge in the following areas is an advantage so if you have these skills it's a plus for you programming in C and C++, high level synthesis, electronic design, automation, programming language, formal method. So this is the candidate you are looking for. And what they offer, you could also read it here. So they value diversity. So what do you do? You need a CV to apply. You need a CV, your BS and your grade transcript, a brief one page research statement, outlining your research background and interest. Content information of two professional reference, so optional supporting document, the copy of your MS thesis, recent project report or equivalent. Please submit one most relevant work only. So your link to GitHub, path that you maintain or contributed to, authored or co-authored scientific publication. So if you have all these things, you could apply. And this is the professor, this is the principal investigator you'll be working with. I would suggest you send her you, you just look at her pro, pro um, her website and see what she's offering so as you could see she also has open positions for msc and bsc projects and internship so you could visit her group website to look look at what she's doing some of her awards and honors and 
take time to familiar familiarize yourself with her research work and this is going to really help you put in a strong applications and as she said you have to apply through the online portal let's look at how this looks. it's very easy to apply you just have to click apply now and if you have questions you could contact her and as she says no applications you don't have to send applications to her so if you want to send her an email with questions you could ask her so let's look at this is the site to apply we have to fill this this is a very short form so you can fill no permits your nationalities let me do this quickly Ghana O one O one one nine nine zero okay country Ghana title I you see I don't want to fill this form so you just have to fill this and you click apply the next port the next um site will lead you to is a site where you have to submit these documents and one thing is that some some of the I, I've looked through some of then some of the positions they will require that you put every like what everything in one single pdf file if you don't know how to do it i have a video on my channel on how to combine all these documents in one pdf file to to submit the process is quick and easy so take your time go through this and hopefully you find something that is of interest to you if you haven't yet subscribed as i said from the beginning kindly do so kindly like and leave a comment this will help my channel grow until you hear from me again in another video 